Well, hello there. How's everybody doing? I'm extremely excited to be bringing this video to you guys today because I've been teasing some new tech for quite a while and I'm just super psyched to get it out. Let you guys know what I've been up to. So in the drone world, we have a problem. In the big drone world, we have a problem and that's a flight time. Uh, with small drones, it's not as big of an issue because uh, we've kind of got that figured out and small drones are flying for like a half an hour or so at only a few pounds. But the problem we're running into with big drones especially, flying big movie cameras or big LiDAR sensors, or if we want to carry some sort of cargo from point A to point B over a long range, uh, we're not exactly getting the flight time we want out of lithium-powered multi-rotors. We have yet to really have a elegant and easy solution for a long-range multi-rotor until today. So the awesome folks at Intelligent Energy out of the UK have recently hit me up and they say, hey, we see that you build custom drones. We're wondering if you would want to collaborate with us on something new. And I say, okay, what is it? I say, well, we manufacture hydrogen fuel cells. A hydrogen fuel cell, huh? So I'm extremely excited to announce to you today the MFD 3000 Hydrogen Fuel Cell Edition. Check it out! So I've got to say that this is purely in the concept form right now. This does not fly. As you see it, this does not fly. I'm not trying to deceive anybody. But Intelligent Energy just announced this 2.4 kilowatt uh, hydrogen fuel cell module specifically designed for UAVs. And so this isn't their first one though. They've, they've made a 800 watt before that can fly a smaller drone like a Matrice 100. So they've made fuel cells before and now this is their biggest one yet. So what I did was I took my MFD line of aircraft and made a smaller aircraft, which I call the 3000, which can perfectly utilize this 2.4 kilowatts. So what does it mean? Real simple. We can take a payload, like a 10 pound payload, and now we can fly not for 20 minutes or so, we can fly for an hour with a hydrogen fuel cell. So what does this change? This literally changes the game. Uh, I've been in the drone world for uh, seven years or so, in the RC world for 15, half my life, and I will say that this is the most interesting technology that I've seen come our way literally since lithium batteries. I remember seeing RC helicopters fly with NICADs and nickel metal hydride batteries a decade ago, 12 years ago, and the lithium batteries came and took the market by storm. And this, I think this technology has that same potential for larger industrial drones. So basically, this aircraft is my MFD 3000 electric, just modified to accept and house the hydrogen fuel cell. So once again, this is a concept drone. This is made just to kind of show what this could be, what it could do. Um, the aircraft itself is flying in the battery configuration and it's flying great. Um, in terms of the hydrogen fuel cell addition, uh, Intelligent Energy is telling me that it will be ready. Uh, this module will be ready for flight towards the end of this year, 2019, and then for sale in the beginning of 2020. So I really can't wait to take this aircraft airborne and see it fly for one hour with like a 10 pound payload, because that right there changes the game. So uh, I made a very long form uh, video, which I believe will be helpful if you're interested in a hydrogen fuel cell drone or just want to learn more about it. So I covered about 12 key points, 12 questions that I kind of came up with that I had. Um, and I think that it's really useful. I think that this is gonna be, uh, like I said, a game-changing technology that I just can't wait to see develop. So if you have more interest in this, check out that other video. I'm gonna put a link to it right here. And uh, feel free to check out my website, a lot of pictures, more info there, but really just wanted to kind of announce this and get this project underway. So I will be at the AUVSI show in Chicago. This will be on display and uh, I just can't wait. This is gonna be awesome tech. Can't wait to see it come to life.